Hello guys, in this video we will be learning about knapsack problem. So knapsack it is also known as fractional knapsack. So first let us understand what is knapsack. For example there will be a sack. Now this sack can weight only 50 kgs. So you will be having n number of objects. So let us consider first object the weight is 20 second object the weight is 10 and the third object the weight is 20 so the sack weight or the capacity of the sack is 50 kgs i have three objects over here and the first object weights 20 kg the second one 10 and the third one again 20 so if i fit this first object into the sack it is going to fit perfectly so all the 20 kg can come into the sack second object even this can come into the sack the third object even this can come into the sack so now no more objects can be added in this sack because the weight of the sack is only 50 kg suppose the third object weights 25 so now you can't put this third object full into this sack because the weight is only 50 this is going above 50 so when i add this third object in this sack it is going like 55 but it cannot be done 55 so now in this it uh, gives us an option for placing the object as a whole or a fraction so this means you can place the whole object into the sack or the fraction of this object in the sack so now i think we are clear early understood what is knapsack so here uh, n are the objects n is the objects and the, you have a knapsack bag then you can represent w as weight and then you can tell m is the capacity of the knapsack capacity and then you need to get a profit from this knapsack so profit you can represent it as p so as i told you we have an option to put the whole object in this sack or a fraction so this knapsack problem has an objective and a constraints now what is the objective of this knapsack we must fill the knapsack which maximizes the profit so this is the objective now what is the constraint the constraint is that the total capacity cannot exceed m now in order to find the solution for knapsack problem we have to follow three different strategies now you can tell strategy one is select the object based on increasing order of weights so this is strategy one now the second one is you need to select the objects based on decreasing order of profit the third strategy select the objects based on decreasing order of pi by wi so pi is the profit and wi is the weight so these are the three strategies which you need to follow while solving your knapsack problem 
This is the question which is given to us. So consider an abstract problem of finding the optimal solution where m is equal to 40 and n is equal to 4. So as I told you all earlier, m refers to the capacity and n is the number of objects. So now these are the weights and the weight and the profit which is given to us and these are assembled with w1 w2 w3 w4 respectively so the numbers are been given in the left right hand side sorry it's given in the right hand side and the profit is also given now let's start to solve our problem so the first step is that you need to select the objects based on the increasing order of weights so now you need to select based on the increasing order of the weight. Arrange in the objects in the increasing order of weights. So let's arrange them. So first I'll take the objects weights and then the profit so now as the first statement tells that you need to arrange in increasing order of weight so you go to the weight and you have to see the numbers so in increasing means it's from small to big so first 10 will come then 15 then comes 20 and then 25 now i need to arrange the profit according to their weight so if you see here weight 10 so 10 profit is 35 so right here 35 15 45 so like this only it will be written respectively now you need to give their objects so this is the first object second third and fourth so what is the value over here the value is 10 so this is in third object so here you will be writing 3 now 15 fourth so 4 20 is in first 25 second object so this is how you need to arrange it so now let's start let rc be the remaining capacity remaining capacity so let's make a column rc then the object then weight and then the fraction the fraction which is getting added to the knapsack added to knapsack something like this now i'll be taking the weight so that is 10 so first i write here the weight is 10 and the object is 3 now what is the capacity what i have for the knapsack the capacity for my knapsack is 40 so now I will less this weight with the capacity of my knapsack. So minus 10. So what is remaining? Remaining is 30. So now when I see here, the first weight is gone into the knapsack completely. So I will write one full unit. So the whole thing is gone into the knapsack. I do not have any remaining fraction or something. So now we will go to the next weight. Next weight is 15. So 15 comes here. And then what is the object? The object is 4. So now the remaining capacity is 30. So 30 minus 15. So what will be my remainder? Will be 15. Now here also if you see the whole thing is fit into this knapsack. So one full unit. Now next weight is 20. So I will bring here 20. Object is 1. Now remaining is 15. So if you see here, I can't minus this 20 with this 15. So I will minus here with 15 and I will give the remainder as 0. But here, if we see, the weight is completely not gone into this knapsack. So you need to find out the fraction. So what is the formula or the concept behind fraction is, you need to take this remaining capacity and the weight. You need to divide it. So 15 divide by 20 5 threes are and 5 fours are so 3 fourth unit 
so now you need to find out the solution vector and what is the profit you have earned so let's find out the solution vector you need to arrange this solution vector according to your objects so the first object if you see the fraction which is added to the knapsack is 3 fourth so you will be writing here 3 fourth this is the first object now the second object is not added over here so you will be giving writing as 0 and the third one one full unit is gone into the knapsack and the fourth one again one full unit so this is how you write solution vector now you need to calculate the profit huh? profit now how do you calculate this profit is from this solution vector into the profit so let's calculate the profit so the first solution vector is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 into the profit now which profit you will be taking is from here so this solution vector the this is from the first object so the first object profit is 20 so you will be multiplying it with 20 plus now the second solution vector that is 0 plus this is in the second object first object second object third object fourth object so second objects profit is 40 plus the third into third object profit is 35 plus this will this will also be into plus the fourth one into 45 now you need to multiply it here so this one when you multiply it you'll be getting 15 plus 0 plus 35 plus 45 so when you add all these together you will be getting as 95 so the first strategy is done in knapsack problem now we need to go to the second strategy strategy to arrange the objects in decreasing order of profit so let's arrange it from here so profit is over here so you need to arrange this in decreasing order so i'll write here profit so first comes 45 then 40 35 and then 20 now arrange the weight according to this so first 45 so 45 weight is 15 and you can write the objects also as well so 15 this is the fourth object then comes 40 so the weight is 25 second object 35 10 third object 20 20 first object so now you need to follow the same procedure as we have done over here so let rc be the remaining capacity so rc object weight and then the fraction that is getting added to the knapsack so my remaining capacity will be 40 so the first weight i bring here 15 the object is 4 and what is the the weight is 15 so i minus here with 15 so my remaining capacity will be 25 so here one full unit has been gone into the knapsack so let's go to the next weight that is 25 second object i have 25 over here now i minus this weight so here also one full unit is been gone into the knapsack so i will not take the next next object because i do not have any remaining capacity in my knapsack so i will find out the solution vector now so the first object it's not there so zero second object one full unit has been gone third object it's not there fourth object one full unit is gone so after solution vector you need to find out the profit what you have earned so solution vector into the profit so this is the first object second object third and fourth so the first object profit is 20 plus into 40 plus into 35 plus the fourth one into 45 now when I multiply I get here 0 plus 40 plus 0 plus 45 so this is which is equal to 
85. So now we have to go to the third step or the third strategy. The third strategy is that arrange the objects in decreasing order of PI by WI. So PI is nothing but the profit and WI is nothing but the weight. PI by WI. O P I P one W one which is equal to P I by W I. So twenty divided by twenty. The second one is P two W two P I by W I. So forty divided by twenty five. So the same thing you should follow for the remaining ones. That is thirty five by ten and forty five by fifteen. Now what is the value? Here one, here it's one point six, here thirty five, and here it's. So let us arrange objects, weight, and profit. As first is thirty five. So this is my the p value and this is the w value. So p value thirty five and the w value is ten. So after this, which is the greater number, that is three. So this is p value and this is w value. So p value and w value. Then after that it's one point six. So p value, w value, and then one p value and w value. So this is how you need to arrange. Now these objects you can take it from here. So ten thirty five ten thirty five is the third object. Fifteen forty five it's fourth, and then twenty forty it's two, and this is the first object. So this is how you need to arrange in the third method or third strategy. Let R C be the remaining capacity. R C fraction. So the remaining capacity will be forty. So the first weight is ten. Object is three. So I'll minus here ten. Remaining is thirty. So one full unit. Now the second weight is fifteen. So that is fourth object. So thirty minus Fifteen remaining is fifteen. So you are also one full unit. So here the remaining is fifteen. So here I will be uh, dividing it the remaining capacity with the weight. So three fourth of this unit will remain. So now we need to find the solution vector. So the first there is no object so zero. So second one it's three fourth. Third one it's one full unit. Fourth one it's one full unit. Now you need to find out the profit. So this solution vector and profit to find it follows the same procedure. Zero into twenty plus three fourth into forty plus one into thirty five plus one into forty five. So here it's zero. Plus twenty four plus thirty five plus forty five, which is all equal to hundred and four. I'm sorry, guys. It's not three fourth. It's three fifth. So the remaining values are one not four. So now you will find out which is your optimal solution. So how to know which is my optimal solution is where you have earned the profit in maximum way. So Which of the strategy has the maximum amount or profit earned? So the third profit, which is earned, that is one not four. So one not four is your optimal solution. So the optimal solution is the third strategy, which is one not four. So this is how you solve knapsack problem, or this is also known as fractional knapsack. So thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share